the head coach before Hoke and Long brought in some athletes. But it was a team that went 2-10 and ten his last year, the freshman year for 21 of these seniors tonight, and almost picked off. What a break there by L.J. Jones, the sophomore corner from L.A. You're absolutely right. That was a timing route on the out. Ryan Lindley threw this football before the receiver was out of his break, and L.J. Jones, we talked about him leading this team with interceptions. At I back, go power, and a little bit of wiggle for Rouse, and how about fighting across the 30 for a first down. Looked to be stopped for a loss. Well, James, the first time the Fresno State goes to their huge package, it's very, very effective. Just a hat on a hat, a lot of big bodies across the board. There's an offensive lineman out towards the left side of your screen right there. Great job of making Larry Gibbs miss in the hole, and that's what a good running back with patience can do. He's going to go back and look at film and realize he made a mistake. We saw a 57 and a 58-yarder. Kicked and made last week in our game between ECU and Marshall. And a 51-yarder by Abel Perez is blocked. Right into the hands of a Bulldog. And look out. Isaiah Green, 69 yards to the house. And the Bulldogs off the blocked field goal try strike first. Here at the queue. The initial block by Hibberstown. James Harrell. Fresno State. Logan Harrell. Backup offensive lineman. Cody Wickman gets his big hands up there. Number 73 right there. And his right hand just gets it. And we marveled a couple games ago at San Diego State. Abelardo Perez and his ability to be able to kick the ball and be able to get the height over the offensive line. But that time Wickman was a little too tall. Well, Pat Hill hangs his hat on toughness and special teams since 2002. Nobody in the NCAA has blocked more kicks than this guy's football teams. Toughness is what we started with off the top of this show. Here's your chance at finding out who's tougher. Power game. Yes? No! Big stop on the goal line for the Bulldog D. Chase McGinty. The defensive tackle, the head of the spear. This is just about penetration. Look at all the Bulldogs right there. McGinty doing a great job of shedding his blocks coming up. And Fresno State on the road, playing tough for Pat Hill. Thanks. Isn't that the truth, Brooke? Well, it, it really is a very close relationship as we look at Hill. Sophomore quarterback, this time he goes deep and connects. Wow! Jalen Sanders was 40 yards shy coming into this game of being the seventh player in the history of Fresno State to go over 1,000 yards. And how's that for an exclamation point? 88 yards and a touchdown. There's a flag on the play at the very end, though, for celebration and sophomore to sophomore. Well, Derek Carr missed a big play. There was play. no on the play. Score the touchdown. Derek Carr missed a receiver earlier in the ball game, but certainly didn't miss one here, and that's the seventh time that a Fresno State player has had 1,000-plus receiving yards for Jalen Saunders. He's happy to have that dubious distinction. Young sophomore, a lot of talent, James, on this Fresno State team on both sides of the football. And we talked about Saunders' explosiveness at the top of the game, and we saw it here early in the second quarter. <laughs> that was a good move. San Diego State's made some adjustments. They're playing two high safeties to be able, their cornerbacks, to be able to have some help over the top on that last series. Right down the middle again. This time it's Burst. Isaiah Burst, another big pick up the Aztecs trying to haul him down and Gabe Lemon finally does but right down the middle of the field we've seen guys wearing white jerseys running Scott free Victor Dean couldn't hold on to one Jalen Saunders went 88 yards for a touchdown and now it's Burst's turn and no sooner did we say that than offensive coordinator Jeff Grady does a good job of taking advantage of that and being able to split those safeties on the skinny post getting behind the linebacker being able to find the holes in that defense. San Diego State.
Ricky Long spent about 15 minutes talking to us about defensive backs not looking for the ball last night. Again, they go to the end zone. This time, it's hauled in Josh Harper. The red shirt freshman from Stockton pulls it down. You're right, James. This Fresno State offense, so much talent. It's a very young offense, particularly in the skill positions. And Derek Carr showing you that the blood runs, bloodlines run thick in his family. And a lot like his older brother, he does a tremendous job of placing the football. And San Diego State has to find an answer because they're getting torn up on the edges and the outside of their back end of their defense. Fresno State's all-time leading scorer, Kevin Gessling, adds one more to his point total, which now sits at 372. And racking up the yards, the sophomore gunslinger, Derek Carr. We're here at this game, and that Fresno State run game in check. Rouse one more time. Gets out. Would be tackle for a loss. First down and then some. Finally forced out of bounds near the 30 yard line by Eric Pinkins. Excellent second effort by Robbie Rouse. We talked about all the family he has here. Larry Gibbs, number 93, gets some penetration and comes up through. They're just running the power, but he breaks the tackle right there. His patience shows you great balance and an ability to be able to get up the field and that missed tackling. San Diego State has been successful tonight because they swarmed to the football, but they were a little late on that one. For the hometown Aztecs, here's a big third down and nine for a defense has been lights out in the second half this year. Blitz picked up, first down picked up, a whole lot more. Wiley inside the 20 yard line. Devin Wiley, the senior. Has the Bulldogs knocking at the door. That time San Diego State ran a fire zone. Number 54, Demetrius Barksdale tried to be able to get out off the side. They bring 42, Jake Feely off the outside edge and Barksdale right there in 54. They try to bracket coverage with number five, Dewan Hemmings. Just great job of that speed. We talked about Fresno State being able to take advantage of tough but for being big, but they certainly are tough. The Aztecs just lost their middle backer, though. And right up the middle is where the Bulldogs go. Touchdown, Rouse. Robbie Rouse into the paint for the first time tonight. Robbie Rouse has to be feeling pretty good about that. Again, big plays through the air is what set this up, and Robbie Rouse finishes it off.